Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening to everybody out there, man. Welcome to the Stuck in Reality Podcast with yours truly, Nick Marquis. And we're ready to get started with our live stream today. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and share on the video. In the comments, I have a link posted. So if you would like to join me live one-on-one and talk about uh, this particular topic, feel free to do so. We're about four minutes early, so we're going to allow some people to come on in. And uh, when you come in, talk to me. Let me know who's out there. Uh, comment. Throw a heart up. Throw a thumbs up throw your name out there so we know what's going on um hopefully everybody had a very productive day today LaRonda what's going on thank you for joining in thank you what's going on my good people Veronica what's going on what's going on appreciate y'all tuning in appreciate y'all man while we're waiting on them man today's topic is uh uh, it's going to be good. We're not going to be very long, but uh, um, to all the single and unmarried people out there, which if you're unmarried, you're single, technically. Um, the the uh, the topic is about uh, why do you post your significant other and what are the pros to posting them? What benefit do you get out of posting them? Uh, so y'all come on in. Y'all talk to me. While we getting some people in here, those of you that just joining, come on in, talk to me, man. Announce yourselves when you come in, throw up a heart. Uh, you know, we we from the South, so give some Southern hospitality and speak. And uh, let me know who we got out there, man. It's good to be back um, with you guys, man. I, um, I think a week is almost too long for me to stay away. I, I almost want to do this almost every day, but hey uh time won't permit me to do it every day so you guys come on in we got about two more minutes till we get started i'm sipping on a little taylor port today if, if anybody's had a uh long work day today i advise you that uh taylor port will be your friend to wind you on down for this evening tony muhammad what's going on Appreciate you joining in, my brother. Representing for the fellas tonight. Y'all come on through here, man. Come on in the building. Got about a minute before we get started. For real, man. But uh, yeah, uh, again, the topic to the single and unmarried people, why do you post your significant other? And uh, what are the pros to posting them? What benefit do you get? out of posting your significant other out there i want to know what you think i want to know your spiel on it um uh, and then i'll give you mine but uh definitely want to know what you all think about uh today's social media posting of you know what i'm saying your significant other and what benefits do you get from posting that significant other so yeah yeah come on through here man I know some people just getting up work. Some people just, you know what I'm saying, getting the kids settled in. So, uh, and y'all let me know if this time works good for you guys, man. I think uh, last time we had some technical difficulties and um, I ended up going back live, but I went live at around about nine o'clock. Shalonda, what's going on? Thank you so much for joining in again. Uh, so appreciate y'all being consistent, man. I see a lot of consistency out of some of the viewers out there, so. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining in consistently um, as we grow this podcast and this uh, it is growing rapidly. I will tell you that. Uh, so shout out to everybody that has went and followed the uh, Stuck in Reality podcast page, whether you follow the Instagram, Facebook or YouTube channel. That's it. another thing. Go follow my YouTube channel, Stuck in Reality podcast on YouTube. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe and click the notification bar when i go live that way you can watch from anywhere facebook instagram or youtube also i'm also on apple Podcasts. yeah i'm also on spotify uh, as well iHeartRadio, and um i've been accepted by a lot of others so man this has been um a growing process rapidly man for me and i am definitely excited to get you guys this information so it's 801 we're gonna go ahead and get started so you guys talk to me uh whoever i got out there laronda veronica 
uh, Tony, uh, Shalanda, uh, whoever else is out there, y'all let me know. Uh, check in with me. But what? Uh, why do you post your significant other if you're not married? And what benefit do you get from posting them? Um, I'll tell you now uh, that uh, I ain't going to say my spiel yet. T Mar, I got my boy T Mar on here, man. The baddest, baddest MD in the land, man. If you want somebody to play some some keys, some ox, organ, whatever you want, that's the man to do it. Jasmine, what's going on? Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, why do you guys post your um, significant other, uh, and what's the benefit to it? Yeah, somebody talk to me. Don't be shy. We can talk. We can talk it out. Why do you post them? Because I have an interesting take on it. I just want to see um, what everyone else thinks about it. Um, Loranda says she's never. Let me let me put it up there for you guys. She said I've never really posted mine, and honestly, not interested in doing so. I like bringing every time. I, I get what you're trying to say. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry around. I don't like bringing every Tom, Dick, and Harry around your children. Yeah. Okay, okay. Jasmine, uh, the question is, norm, is, 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 it can be just for the singles, but I'll open it up to everybody. Why do you post your significant other if you are married? Uh, it's, 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 really, it's, it's really for the single now. It's really for the single and unmarried. Uh, but you can tell us why. Uh, T. Mark said, uh, some may post for security from a woman's perspective. I can see that. I can see that. Appreciate you, T. Mark, for coming, my brother. Um, I can definitely see that. Um, so, yeah, LaRonda says she doesn't want to bring... She doesn't post because she doesn't want to bring every, you know what I'm saying, type of guy around them, their children, uh, her children. So my guy T-Mark said he doesn't, uh, he, he thinks that they may post from a security standpoint, from a woman's perspective. So, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Who else out there? I know y'all ain't going to leave them out there to drive by themselves, man. We got two people that, that come in it. So who else? Some people post for attention. Okay, 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 Jasmine. So I got you. I got you. So I got three people that commented. I like that. I like that. I appreciate you guys for uh, commenting. And anybody else that joins in, make sure feel free to comment while we're talking and uh, giving updates. But listen, um, I don't know if you guys remember when I first gave the intros to the podcast, uh, but I stated on there uh, that I have a no posting rule. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't post, I don't post, uh, for birthdays, holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, uh, Groundhog's Day. It don't matter. Uh, Veronica says some do. Some do insecure couples post more because they aren't just trying to convince their followers that they're happy. They're often uh, trying to convince themselves too. LaRonda says she liked my rule. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much. So look, appreciate that, LaRonda. So look, I don't post for anything. And here's the reason why. I want to give you a couple of tips, man. We're not going to be on here long tonight. It's just to inform you about this one. So let me tell you what, I'm going to tell you what posting does. Posting creates an unwanted issue in the relationship. Now, this is generally speaking. This is not for all. We can't cover all relationships because all people are not the same. Our relationships are not the same. But in general, when we talk about um, when we talk about things on this show, we're talking about in general generalizations of men and women and relationships. So in general, uh, posting just creates unwanted issues. Uh, and, and here's why. Because when you start something, everybody knows out there, when you start something, you have to maintain it. You have to keep it up because what happens is the lack of posting that significant other and the lack of being consistent in posting that significant other is going to create a tension 
that you don't want in the relationship. So it's on both sides of the coin too. And let me explain because your significant other is going to say, Hey, uh, why aren't you posting me anymore? Like you used to, you may used to do it once every week or once every two weeks, or, you know what I'm saying? Three times a month. But, and if you slow down for some reason, and, that, and it may not be for a reason, it just may be that you've been so busy with life's ups and downs and you guys are, um, you know what I'm saying? The kids have picked up with more uh, extracurricular activities and basketball games and, you know what I'm saying? Ballet and, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, volleyball, you know, football, whatever. And it may not be you and it's, it's nothing that they've done, but life has just occurred. But that that significant other doesn't look at it that way. They look at it as, oh, something has went on. Something has happened. And this is in general. So you don't want that. You don't want that. That's a that's an unwanted and an unneeded issue in the relationship that you guys could do without. Um, on the other side, side of the coin, flip the coin over from the outside world. OK, now you have people saying, oh, do you notice? I've done it myself. I'm guilty. Hey, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here looking on Facebook. Hey, she, she ain't posting an old boy like she used to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And old boy looking like, hey, man, he ain't he ain't posting an old girl like he used to. You know what I'm saying? So that gives um, reason and that gives uh, some type of motivation for a person that doesn't have you guys' relationship, the best interest of it at heart for them to come in and sneak through the back door, hit that inbox, uh, you know what I'm saying, hit that email, or you know what I'm saying, anything, and be like, hey, what's going on, what's up, you know what I'm saying, it may be at a, at a vulnerable state, and if, if something is going on in a relationship, you're going to be more vulnerable, uh, vulnerable to, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and entertain that, you know what I'm saying, I have to remind y'all ladies, you have to understand, especially from a lady's standpoint, you have to understand who men are, you have to study men's anatomy, you know what I'm saying? Because you'll know what you're dealing with, with men. And this is generalization. This is not saying all men, but all men are going to be men. You know what I'm saying? They're going to look and sometimes they're going to, you know what I'm saying? Look harder than others. They're going to see something. And you, you don't want, you don't want that temptation of life to be, you know what I'm saying? Thrown at you in a way that it comes like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hey, if you go to church of any kind, You'll know that, you know what I'm saying, a preacher will tell you sometimes, man, that the devil are, are, are sending your way what you really like. And he don't, he don't send stuff that you don't you don't like. He sends stuff that you like. So if a big booty girl coming in that inbox and she fine and she curvy and all that, that's what's going to come. Don't give him anything to think about. Don't give her anything to think about. So that posting creates that type of uh, unwanted issue in a relationship, man. And you guys can do without that. Uh, what you guys are trying to do is you guys are trying to get together, stay together and stay off the market because right now the sexual marketplace is not the place to be. Get out the game, stay out the game. That's the name of the game. All right. So uh, and you got to think about it. Once you start posting, that's where your haters uh, come in at. and you got to think about it. Anytime that somebody's hating on you, I'm going to give you some game right here. Anytime that somebody's hating on you, that means that, one, you're doing something right. And if it's a hater, it's coming from a low place. I've never in my life seen a millionaire hating on a guy that makes $60,000 a year. I've never seen it. I've, I've never seen a celebrity hating on a, a, a regular guy. You know what I'm saying? Or or a celebrity, a uh, woman celebrity hating on a, a, a regular, you know what I'm saying, average woman that's not in the lights and not, you know what I'm saying, starting. I, I've never seen it. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, I'm missing something. But hating comes from a very small place because it takes you to be doing something right for someone to be hating on you. So you have to remember that. So that's where hating comes in. You, you allow. And think about this, y'all. Think about it from this standpoint. LaRonda said, don't give him anything to think about. Yeah, super true. Uh, appreciate it, Tony. Tony said, good stuff. So, yeah, uh, yeah, Tony, that's why I don't post that, man, either. But, yeah, uh, you got to think about it. How can enemies, I want y'all to, I think, I want y'all to listen to this. How can enemies uh, prey on what they can't see and what they don't know? 
Think about it. How can they prey on you? That's that's P R E Y. How can they prey on things they can't see and they don't know? Think about the lion. The lion can't prey on, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, a gazelle if he can't see him. If he doesn't see him out there in the jungle just walking around, he can't go, you know what I'm saying, and, and attack him if he can't see him. So you got to think about it. It's, it's, it's in everyday society too, in our everyday world. We're giving people something to prey on. I'll use myself for example. Um, I've had um, quite a few vehicles in my, you know what I'm saying, adulthood. And the vehicle that I have now, it's post-worthy. It's post-worthy. I'm proud of it. It's a nice vehicle. In fact, I'm in love with it. But I don't want you guys or anybody on Facebook to see my vehicle unless i roll up on you and here's the reason why because let's just say i fall on hard times i fall on hard times i lose my job i wake up in the morning and i can't sing anymore i wake up in the morning and i can't do my other you know what i'm saying uh skills that i have to make money what happens i lose everything i have but you won't know that i've lost anything if you don't see my possessions if you don't see where I live, if you don't see that I own a house, if you don't see that I own a nice truck, if you don't see that I own a nice car, if you don't see that I, come on, you won't know. So that way you won't be able to judge me and talk about me if I lose it. You know what I'm saying? I, I have time to, to lose it and get it back again before you even, you be like, man, I ain't seen you in about five years, man. What's been going on? Man, you, in that five years, you done lost your house, you done lost your job, you done lost your car. And you don't have time to re back up and get it again. But if you posting all the time, people see you and they'll be able to see that you came down or not. They'll be able to see that you've been through something. And, and how many people out there? And look, hey, T Mark just said the best. I appreciate that, boy. Out of sight, out of mind. Look, I don't know how many people, man. I'm one of them. I'm a guy that I don't look like what I've been through. And if you're one of those people, you should not want to show anybody what you've been through unless it's your choice. If you're talking to them and y'all are a close friend, cool, y'all, you know, but let's stop giving people something to, you know what I'm saying, judge us on and talk about us about. Don't give them information because people are going to talk about you regardless, but don't give them, don't add fuel to their fire is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, t Mar, I like that, boy. I got, I got a pen it. I got a pen it. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So yeah, man. Um, um, give me something else. Why you guys? Give me some more reasons why you guys post. They said some people don't feel like. Hold on. Some people don't feel like they are in a relationship unless they post their significant other. I get it. I get it. But ask yourself. You got to ask yourself. If we're talking about creating healthy relationships um why what benefit are you getting from posting them if i if you're posting them is there an incentive like is there something that your your significant other gives you like if you post them this week is, is this something you know what i'm saying more sexual that you get in you know what i'm saying that night is it a sexual thing is it does it create um some type of you know what i'm saying fiery experience in the bedroom later or or what because man it's so much peaceful when you don't post. Man, I have so much more peace keeping my business, my business, than I did when I showed the whole world what I was doing. I mean, it it you didn't have anything to talk about. You don't have anything to talk about because I don't post. You only know what you see when you see me. And that's very little. All right. Veronica said, if they become obsessed about showing you all uh showing off your perfect lives then this can uh, be a major red flag in a relationship i totally agree because it then says you then have to ask yourself what is this relationship predicated on what is it based on is it based on me showing you to the world or is it based on us making sure we spend eternity together and and live happy i mean i'll be trying to understand what people be you know what i'm saying be trying to prove 
I get it, man. I get it. And I saw some posts, you know what I'm saying? I posted the other day and I and thank everybody for coming on the post that I put up because I like the disagreements. I like the agreements. I don't I welcome all of it. You know what I'm saying? But uh thank everybody for posting. But I had some people saying, you know, um, I love to post my significant other because in my mind, I, I'm thinking that we're gonna be together forever. And what are we hiding for if we're, you know what I'm saying, together and people see you out? It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference because this Facebook thing, um, you no longer, if somebody see you out in the city or anything like that, you just have to deal with someone seeing you out and then knowing. Facebook gives you a whole world to, you know what I'm saying, show off. And then now you have to deal with people that know that not only live in Memphis, but you have to worry about Memphis, uh, West Memphis, uh, Jackson, Tennessee, the surrounding areas. You got to worry about, you know what I'm saying, marrying you. You got to worry about, yeah, people that'll come drive to see your man, that'll come drive to see your woman. And some of these people don't mind driving two and three hours. I mean, if it's good enough, hell, you'll drive to go see that woman. That's how I feel about, you know what I'm saying, if if I meet a, a significant other man that's, uh, that's worth uh, – me uh giving my time to like that man i'm gonna go i'm gonna catch a flight i'm gonna go drive i'm gonna take the bus take the train do whatever i gotta do because if that woman has gained your attention that way uh you're gonna want to be around her so these fellas man hey look and some of these women too these women man don't don't get it wrong man the generalization of women right now is uh is kind of in a state to where it's more modern but you got some other women out here, some traditional women out here, man, that 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 are applying pressure to these men, man, and shooting their shot. Uh, so you have to be worried. Hey, listen, no matter how you look at it, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how you look at it, it's a competition. You're in a competition. The competition is the sexual marketplace, and you are in it. No matter if you want to uh, like it, love it, or not, you are in a competition. If you have a man. And you're not married, you are in a competition. If you are married, you are still in a competition till the day you die. Because I'm telling you, <laughs> it's, 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 as women, can I get a man? Can I retain a man? And can I keep him for the rest of my life? You are in a competition. So whether you like it or not, fellas, you're in a competition too. It's going to be somebody that's, that's, that's more handsome, somebody that's more swagged out. Somebody that's, you know what I'm saying, making more money. Somebody that's, yeah, you're in a competition. And you have to stay up on your game. Nobody is, nobody is exempt. You cannot get comfortable. I'm, I'm never getting comfortable. I'm always thinking of new ways uh, to improve, especially in my dating life. Um, so new ideas, uh, new dating, you know what I'm saying, scenes, uh, going on trips. Uh, surprises, all of that, man. It's a competition whether you like it or not. So by you posting, you're telling the competition, bring it on. And I'm I'm here to tell you, man, I ain't trying to compete like that. Hey, if I'm going to compete, I'm going to compete, but I, it ain't going to be with me giving you uh, something, you know what I'm saying, to, to uh, work with. I ain't going to give you no leg to stand on. You're going to have to have your own leg. So, yeah. So um, Veronica said, let's see. And then we have some that partner who's left out a social media post and you'll feel left out and less special in real life. This can be an indicator of a variety of issues. Uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. You're saying that, you know what I'm saying, since you didn't post as much and, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, uh, now that, you know what I'm saying, that you started posting and you stopped posting, so it's like, it's making them feel like, you know what I'm saying, the relationship is probably tanking. Or, you know what I'm saying, on a special day. Uh, I mean, it's it's to me, it's one less thing to have to be worried about in the relationship. Because I can focus on making you happy versus looking like I make you happy to the world. I ain't got time for that. I think we I think we all as adults have so much going on in life, um, work, uh, children um you know all of that type of stuff man to where you know you just trying to you know what i'm saying make sure that you take care of the person rather than you know what i'm saying get validation from a social media site or a platform so yeah man um 
I, yeah, I'm with you right there, Veronica, man. So, yeah, you got to think about it, man. Uh, I know some people don't agree. You, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't agree that, you know what I'm saying, they feel like as a woman, you feel like he's hiding something. Um, and I say this, uh, fellas, um, it goes on both parts. It's, it's a it's a vice versa thing because um, I can tell the fellas on here to be honest all day long to create that uh, trust. Uh, but ladies, you got to understand that with, uh, I said it on some of my previous podcasts with more unsuccessful relationships, uh, though that equals more trauma that you bring to your current relationship. And if trust is already an issue, it's really nothing that that man can really say until you get help with your trust issues. And I'm going to tell you something. If you're not a psychologist, you're not qualified or a therapist. You're not qualified to help yourself. You have to go get that type of help to get those trust issues out of the way so you can progress and be the best person and be best version of yourself in this dating uh, market. So, yeah, but uh, I, I say it all the time. Uh, that, that guy can probably uh, tell you the truth. But if you have lie welcoming behavior, um, it doesn't matter if he uh, tells you the truth because the truth is going to have the same consequence as him telling you a lie. And that's not fair. You know what I'm saying? That's why most men, that's why most men lie because the truth and a lie has the same consequence in most cases. So men, and I'm not condoning telling a lie. I, I'm totally honest. I'm a, I'm a straight shooter guy. Hell, I'll even tell you this. I'm, I'm probably sometimes too honest because uh, I just believe in, in giving you that choice. Uh, but in most cases, uh, guys telling the truth, it has the same consequences telling a lie, and that's not fair. It, there has to be uh, a difference in your man telling you the truth and, and telling a lie. And uh, I think that um, some women say that they can handle the truth, but I don't think most can. Um, so you gotta uh, you gotta think you gotta pick your poison. Do you want the truth? Uh, if you can handle the truth, you have to be able to uh, to uh, separate the consequences for truth and, and telling a lie. So what are you posting for, man? Who, who are you trying to, uh, what are you trying to, you, what are you trying to accomplish by posting? What, who does it benefit? Is my question today. Why, why do you post that significant other? Uh, because, uh, you said, Veronica said, Yeah, they signaling other to what they've taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, who are you? Uh, who are you? What's what's your benefit of posting that significant other, man? I get it. Some of you saying that that is it feels like hiding, but hey, man, look, do what you want, man. You don't you don't want the outside world knowing because we know we know when you slow up posting that the relationship has has severed a blow uh that the relationship is tanking we know we 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 can see it it's like a it's like a big old red flag go across their facebook uh post and and, and look all of that posting man look i'm gonna tell you something too um because i i see it i i pay attention to it and and some of y'all man i'm just gonna go and say it. some of y'all man used to have these long happy birthdays and and oh baby you just so fine and you just so do so much for me you've been there through you've been there through my storms and the rain and you, you've been there through the heartaches and pain and all of that stuff y'all had this long spiel and then the relationship hit a catch a blow and then next 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 post that you got is happy birthday wish you many more love you and it's like oh shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> and then you 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 start asking other people as a as a person, you know what I'm saying? It's just in us. Hey man, what, what's going on with them? You know what I'm saying? He 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 ain't posted. He just he used to have a whole goddamn paragraph about her. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like happy birthday, wish him any more, love you. What's that about? So that makes pe people curious. And hey man, the wolves are waiting. You know what I'm saying? 
you don't want to feed the sheep to the wolves because the sheep, I mean, because the wolves going to eat. And the sheep can't defend themselves to the wolves now. So I'm just saying, man, y'all, y'all be giving people something to uh to feast on. Y'all be giving people something to actually have and stand a leg, have a leg to stand on, man. When y'all do all this posting and my boot is, and he, he, my boo, thanks, thanks for my boo. He took me on a trip and he paid for it. He said, wake up and let's go. And I ain't have to pack no bag. We went to the mall and got all new clothes and flew uh first class and all of this stuff. And it's some woman over there saying, uh, I want to be flewed out. <laughs> I want to be, uh, uh, I want to wake up and say, uh, you know what I'm saying? My baby said, let's go. Don't pack nothing. I want to be, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, taken care of. And I want to be, yeah, they want it. Yes, sir. T-Mark, you said curiosity kills the cat. Absolutely. Every time, boy, it's going to kill them. You will always be assuming about me. You will always be wondering about me. What I do, how I make money, uh, how I hustle, on top of how I make money, uh, dating life, relationship. I promise you, you're going to be assuming. So you might as well not even come this way. If you look for something, you're going to see something about London Sky Merit or my business on this old blue app or on Instagram. But anything other than that, you're going to be sitting there uh, scratching your head. Sonia, what's going on? Thank you for joining in. So, yeah, what are we posting for, man? We got about three more minutes on here. Uh, so, y'all, come on in here, man. <clears throat> Mayor Mac. Listen, look, Mayor, I have a saying. What's private is permanent. I'm going to say it again. What's private remains permanent. Be private on purpose. A lot of y'all, man, have uh, lost significant others due to you posting them. You posting, I mean, that and and those were probably relationships that could have stood the test of time, and could have been your best relationships long term for your life. But you guys posted them, and you let the wolves eat. I, don't, I I mean, and, and, and hear me out good. Y'all know, man, I grew up in church all my life. Um, and and I and yeah, but y'all be killing me with that. If it didn't, if if I posted them and um it broke us up, it must one meant for us to be together. Man, kill stop the cap, kill me with that. Like, you know good and well. You know, good and well, man. Some sometimes y'all be throwing God in, in some of these situations that really, you know what I'm saying? God don't be having nothing to do with it. I'm just gonna be honest with you. God, of course, God sees all, God knows all, but some of y'all be adding to y'all demise. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's kind of like you you saying that um like it's some nails over there, and you like just because you went and walked over the nails purposefully. That it was meant for you to walk on the nails and hurt yourself. Well, it must have was meant for me to walk on the nails. No, you're intentionally, you know what I'm saying, harming yourself. So a lot of y'all have a lot to do with your own demise. So, yeah, 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 Mel. Uh, be private on purpose. Be private on purpose. Absolutely. Uh, Veronica said, in a long-term committed relationship, your partner should be your priority above everyone else is in your life keeping your relationship private allows you respect and honor your partner because you won't be sharing their weaknesses insecurities and vulnerabilities with the world hey girl hey you hey you cooking chicken now girl you cooking chicken i'm talking about the only thing you need now is to pull that boy up out the oven and put some barbecue sauce on top of that boy because you cooking chicken with them i'm trying to tell you lavonia real i like that one though veronica hey, i might come back and i might uh, I'm gonna start that one. That one. That one. That one tough. <laughs> Lavonia Real uh, says God gives wisdom, wisdom to keep it hush. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you when you write that, dog. Uh, because uh, y'all know in the Bible, man, to tell you it's a time that you know what I'm saying speaking, a time to be quiet. And man, some of y'all doing too much talking. 
Man, somebody told me one time uh, back in the day, long time ago, you got two of these and you only got one of these. Why are you doing more talking than you is listening? Why are you doing more posting than you is chilling in the background? Man, chill out. Some of y'all just be doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be doing too much. That way, that's the song that Moneybag Yo came out with. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. Chill out. Because if you're in it, if you're in that relationship for uh, the enjoyment of your partner and the, uh, uh, for better or worse, then, you know what I'm saying, y'all y'all have intentions of being married, then you guys, you know what I'm saying, y'all got to do whatever y'all need to do to uh, make this thing a easy uh, transition, man. I'm going to tell you something. Um, if it does not involve pure positivity, I don't want it in my life. I don't need nobody, man, coming to me and saying, man, why you ain't posting me? Why you ain't doing this? Uh, I always want to be seen, just want attention all the time and validation from, you know what I'm saying, social media and from the world. Look, you ain't you ain't for me. You you don't you don't want uh, what I have to offer. You want what the world has to offer. And you need to go out there with the world. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Y'all y'all coming with the fire tonight, man. Who else out there, man? Uh, why are you posting? And what benefit do you have of posting that person, that significant other? Uh, because if it ain't making you no more money, it ain't making it ain't making you no more money. It ain't getting you no more sex. It ain't getting you no more. Come on, uh, what's the what's what's the purpose? If that if that person, if you posting that person, by all means, man. If you posting, and when you and when you uh get home. Your woman, man, waiting on you, you know what I'm saying, with that trench coat on and nothing up under there. Every time you post and every time that you post, it's an incentive. By all means, man, get it how you want it. I mean, if it's some type of incentive like that, which I still say you probably should keep it on us, but if it's getting you an incentive like that and it ain't creating no problems, hey, man, by all means, man, post away. You know what I'm saying? Post away. But, man... If there's no benefit to, you know what I'm saying, real, real benefit to posting your significant other, man, you might want to keep that on the hush. I'm telling you, man, it's so much more peaceful when you remain private with your relationship. That's with everything with me. It's so peaceful, man. So, yeah. Uh, who else got something, man? We about to get up off of here, man, because this has been great. Uh, the content is, is always good. Uh, to me so man i have to make sure i get it uh to y'all man because like i said and again y'all let me know man if this seven o'clock time is too early we can push it back maybe it's about eight or nine to give everybody time to, uh, to hop on man but yeah i'm gonna I'm uh see how this crowd works versus the nine o'clock crowd and then we'll go from there but yeah keep that relationship private that new car, I know y'all be wanting to post it, man. I know God be done been good to you. I know, man, you be done been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Repairing your credit and getting back up on your feet and you want somebody to know. But I'm going to tell you something, man. Sometimes it's better to just call your, your, your best friends and the people that really mean something to you and just tell them rather than let the whole world know on social media. Because if something happens, they're going to be looking at you. Hey, and, they, and they'll ask you on purpose. Hey, I thought you had that. I thought you had that great Mercedes Benz. And it'd be so petty when they do it. it. I mean, you got your, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yo, and I'm going to tell you something. Your true friends, they going to let you tell them what happened versus, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? Them asking you. But them petty people. Hey, man. I'm going to tell you something, man. I thought you had that. That, that big old uh truck that you used to have. I thought you used to have that that red uh infinity. What happened? And then they waiting on you to be like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? I went through something, man. You know what I'm saying? Got a divorce or you know what I'm saying, or lost my job or anything. And they and they over there that's making them feel good because they still got their little stuff, so they looking down on you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to remember that, man. You got to remember that, man. Some people, man, most people don't have your best interest at heart, man. So uh, be careful with that, man. Keep what you got private. And I promise you, more privacy, 
equals more peace. Hey man, that thing now. Hey, hey, I might have to, I might have to keep that one. But more privacy equals more peace, and what's private remains permanent. So look, uh, Veronica said, yeah, us working folks be up under the bed at nine o'clock. So yeah, seven is good time. All right, cool. All right, cool. So yeah, so what you got to do is uh, tell more people about it, man. When I put on here, man, I'm going live. I need everybody to start sharing this so we can grow the podcast. Therefore, man, we can start, uh, we're going to start getting special guests on here. And uh, we're going to start uh, expanding this thing, man, and out to other people and uh, getting guests. And, um, y yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to grow. It's growing rapidly. So, man, I appreciate everything. Make sure right now, everybody that's on here, I need you to tag one person. Tag at least one person and um, so they can see what's going on. I need everybody that's on here to, to throw some hearts up, man, if you've enjoyed the content. Like, love, and share this live um also make sure you tune in and go subscribe to my youtube channel all of these videos are uh are able to be uh viewed on youtube um uh, when uh after they're uh streamed live so you can go back and watch them you can go back and share them you can go back and tell people hey go watch this and see what um uh, nick marquis said about this topic and tell me what you think and um Man, it can be so much great, man, because uh, I think that no, nobody around this area uh, has been uh, bold enough to tell, uh, talk about what relationships need and the problem in our African-American communities. And man, this social media, man, it has been one of the biggest, one of the biggest hangups and holdups in our lives, man, as it resolves to... Uh, to keeping us bound and chains it's like man we 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 have to do it for the book and man we just gotta be um willing to enjoy each other outside of you know what i'm saying people knowing what we do we got to get back to just man uh enjoying the you know what i'm saying the 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 life with peace uh rather than man posting yeah we got to get back to how things used to be man and and i'm gonna tell you man like i'm 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 trying to get you guys the uh, the real info, the real stats, but this one, this one had uh, been been bothering me, man, about this posting, so I had to get on here and talk about it. So yeah, uh, T Mark, man, you might as well get ready, boy, because you're gonna be on here, man. T Mark, that's one of uh, that's my brother right there, man. I'm gonna uh, start having him on as a co-host here shortly, man. Uh, so it's coming soon, so uh, you guys will be seeing him uh in the near future man so uh y'all can get ready for that and uh some other guests on here man i'm gonna i'm gonna try to get some of these uh uh some uh musicians on here some artists um that you guys know and love and listen to their music and to get them on here so we can uh, talk about some of the things that are affecting our african-american communities and our families as it results to dating um and marriage so appreciate you guys um if you enjoyed the content, man, put down there that you enjoyed it, uh, that you um, that you loved it, and uh, we're about to get up out of here, man. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. Appreciate everybody um, giving your support and your time to the podcast, Stuck in Reality, man. Make sure you follow us at the bottom. You can see the uh, the uh, the banner that you can follow um, SIR Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube uh, at Stuck in Reality Podcast. So make sure you go and like, subscribe uh, to the content, and um, I would I would definitely be uh, ecstatic that you do so. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Tawana, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. It's been fun. Uh, until we meet again, next next week's topic is going to be so good, and uh, I need my ladies to put your thick uh, your uh, your bulletproof uh, vest on because uh it's gonna be one to talk about man uh so get ready have some thick skin next week uh so uh until we meet again uh let's stay stuck in reality good night to y'all man peace <laughs>